Police say speed is to blame for a late night crash that killed a Cape Coral team. 18 year old Tyler Richards died after he crashed into another car on Del Prado Boulevard and was thrown from his SUV. Within the last hour, his family stopped by the crash site to pay their respects. And moments ago, they spoke with NBC2's George Solis. George? Well, Peter, as you can imagine, the family is distraught. They stopped by and delivered these flowers at the crash site. But I also want to show you, you can still see the trajectory that these cars took during this crash, starting from the median here on Del Prado, back to where the uprooted tree was. The tragedy has left the entire community, specifically along Del Prado here, saying one thing and one thing only, the speeding along Del Prado Boulevard needs to stop. It was a crash heard around Del Prado Boulevard. A big loud bang. I was in the kitchen of Sakura's. Little did Chef Blair Austin know what he'd see as he rushed out the restaurant door. Saw a car, it hit that pole, struck that pole. The scene quickly turned tragic. It was kind of eerie. It was an eerie, eerie feeling right here. While Austin processed the deadly crash in front of him, his coworker got a different perspective. I seen one girl laying down just crying and whatnot, and then she cried even more when the five eyes came and tried to get the boy out of the car, but or trying to find a boy in the car. The emotion got the better of Savani Insignime. I was very speechless. I didn't even know what to think. I started crying right then and there. The missing boy, 18-year-old Tyler Richards, was soon discovered dead on the nearby sidewalk. The aftermath of a deadly collision where police say speed played a role. The scene of the crash may be long gone, but some of the evidence of the tragedy that transpired still remains. According to police, Richards and his female passenger were in his GMC envoy driving somewhere between 70 and 80 miles per hour, well over the 45 limit. The other car in the crash, a red Toyota Corolla driven around the same speed by a minor. Richards struck the Corolla from behind, causing his car to roll. Richards was thrown out of the car. Saying that he was too young, I wish it was me, he didn't deserve this. The other teen was unharmed. It was spine tingling. It was. It was spine tingling. And again, you're looking at a live look at flowers that were just delivered by the mother and family friend here at the crash site where Tyler Richards lost his life. Now, Cape Coral Police tell us that there is an investigation pending. Charges could also soon follow. That is the latest. Reporting live in Cape Coral tonight, George Solis, NBC2.